Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We're at PAR Racing Engines. I'm joined by Scott Duggins. Between us here is gonna be a pro-charged 557 cubic inch big block Chevy, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. It's uh, one of our most popular combinations. We build these things from 540 all the way up to 588, and I've uh, had a, a, a lot of success with them. We uh, on blow through, we've got the fastest uh, door car and dragster in the country now with these things. So cool. we've, we've worked on them. A, a right good bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, you're currently building this one up, uh, and this one's going to be a 557 cubic inch version. Uh, so, Scott, if you would, let, let's start with the block since it's between us here. Uh, I understand you guys do a decent amount of machine work to it here in house. Uh, yes, sir. We uh, start off with a, a Brodax hip block, okay. uh, four 500 bore, and uh, we leave the sleeves up about four thou, so we machine the deck around the sleeves yeah. and with what we use top fuel hoops is what they call yeah. that uh, that seals the head gasket yeah. um, that we make here in house. Yeah. Um, that's that's some of the, uh, the the biggest machine work that's gotta be done, sealing these things up. Yeah, and you're doing it in the deck surface as well as in the head? Yes, we okay. put the receiver groove here yep. and we put the, the, the hoop in the head. Okay, yep, very good. And then uh, talk a little bit about some of the components that'll end up going in an engine like this. We use uh, the Cavish cranks. Um, I have great luck with Cavish cranks and the GRP rods. Um, we actually have Wiseco custom do our pistons for us. This is a piston that throughout the years, uh, I think we messed up enough of them to figure out how to how, how to how to how to make this one yeah. right. Um, that uh, Wiseco does for us. I have great luck with the Wiseco stuff. Yeah. And we use the Pro Charger and some Vortex. Um, okay. I, have, I have pretty good luck with, with both of them. It all depends on the build. Yeah. Uh, they make similar but uh, different applications. So uh, for different applications, so we, that's what we, we use there mostly. Yeah, very good. Now you mentioned the um, cylinder head back here. Is that also a Brodex piece? Yeah, we okay. use a Brodex casting. Uh, we do all the machine work here in house, cut them. Uh, of course, we've got our own chamber that's uh, that's, that, that's that's really worked well for us. Uh, do things all the way like O-ring and the exhaust. Uh, we uh, have pack do our springs custom for us, uh, proprietary spring and stuff. Uh, usually use manly cell dyne valves. Um, have good luck with both of those. Yeah, very good. But the port work and stuff is something that we've come up with here that uh, in house that that's that's really. That's really heavy performance on these things. Yeah, and is that stuff that you guys will do by hand or you do it through, uh, No, we do them on our CNC. Yeah, okay. Yes, All the, we've got a four axis uh, that we do our blocks on, and we've got a five axis that we do our heads and manifolds on. Yeah, very good. And, uh, you know, talk about, again, the application for an engine like this and, and how much horsepower someone might be getting out of it. On my dyno, the most I've had is around 2860. Yeah. Um, we have some people that's made over 2,000 to the rear tires, you know, on other people's dynos, um, on hub dynos. Um, we uh, mo mainly the top sportsman and top dragster people. That's that's where these fit in because we run a blow through carburetor. We do have injectors that we that we run on some of them, uh, but most of them gets a blow through carburetor. Um, and we work with APD a lot on fuel systems for the for our blow through carburetors, and 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 we've made over 2,800 with a blow through. Yeah, that's uh, so pretty that's, good. That's pretty good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it's it's user friendly with a blow through. A lot of a lot of guys don't know about the fuel injection stuff, and they're intimidated by it. So we try to make it simple. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, we all actually have one of these in the Dragon Drive that Den okay. Devin Vanderhoof has uh, that he's got turbos on. But basically the same build that he holds the record now, yeah. you know, for the drag and drive stuff. Drove it over 2,000 miles and put 67 laps, I think it was, on it. Okay. Yeah, and, so it's uh, a pretty versatile platform then. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Awesome. 
Scott, while you still have this one kind of pieced out and coming together, anything else that uh, you want to mention about what goes into this particular build? Um, we use, of course, the BAM lifters. Uh, we use tool steel tip push rods and adjusters um, and steel rock arms on these builds, which would be different than a lot of your bracket pipe stuff or our lower end stuff. It's just throughout the years, uh, we beat on it enough to know what breaks. So we just try to fix what's, what the, what's going to break and what might be the next thing to break. But uh, we have several of them, like I said, in the turbos and the pro chargers. It's, it's a basically the same build with a cam change and a lot of times compression change, uh, but takes the same basic components. That we've, that we've had good luck with, whether it be a turbo or a, a, a blow through yeah. setup. Yeah, very good. Well, Scott, we appreciate you taking a couple minutes. Tell us about this uh, 557 cubic inch big block Chevy. And guys, we appreciate you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Scott's got going on here at PAR Racing Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com and following us across social media. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.